How's it going guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is George Mon and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga and I'm here today to talk about My Dress Up Darling chapter 85. So, what did I think about this chapter? I absolutely love this chapter. I thought this chapter was very well written and I enjoyed it quite a lot. I think that the it really subverted a lot of our expectations because we had always the fandom unanimously had come to our theories in we had ideas of where the story was going to take place and what was going to happen going forward. But now all those theories are out of the picture because of this week's chapter. And then, you know, it was amazing. I loved it. It was it was very refreshing. I, I personally didn't predict anything that went down in this chapter. Now, before we get into this chapter, I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can keep up up to date with all my dress up darling content going forward in the future, as well as all the content I'll be providing in this youtube channel i'm currently uploading chainsaw man hunter hunter berserk content and now my dress up darling but i'm gonna provide more content going forward so if you guys could i really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my youtube channel now with that being said let's get into this chapter so we pick up this chapter where we left off last time which was the continuation of the coffin party and we left off where pretty much marin was asked for take up by shinju um you know juju's sister uh, to take a picture with Akira and you know throughout the entire arc of the coffin party arc and we've been under the assumption that Akira and Marin don't get along at all or that Akira has problems with Marin. Marin doesn't particularly know why but she she's figured out like maybe Akira doesn't like me or whatever. Now picking up from that we see that you know we see that Shinju she wants to take a picture of them and Marin starts freaking out because she's like, oh my god, she don't like me. You know, she can't even stand me. Like, I don't know. It's so awkward. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And pretty much we see that um, Marin, you know, she spills the beans. You know, she can't she can't keep her mouth closed because, you know, it's typical Marin. You know, she just, you know, she it, it was killing her from, from the, within inside. So she just lets Shinju know like, hey, we can't do it because, you know, Kira hates me or she doesn't like me or whatever. And... Then we cut to a flashback where we see that no it pretty much what happens is we see in the flashback the moment where uh akame and gojo talked to akira um a couple of chapters before and we get to see where the, the conversation picked up and pretty much they're like yeah you probably don't like uh marin because she can be overwhelming at times and you know they kind of give her like yeah i understand don't worry your secret will be you know between us that you don't like marin and then she's like wait what no, it's not that. Actually, um, the reason I'm so awkward around her and I can't stand being near her or I can't even look at her is because she's my princess. And <laughs> Gojo and Akami are like, what? What are you talking about? Your princess? Like, excuse me? <laughs> They're like so thrown off by this whole thing. Now, pretty much Gojo uh, asks like, uh, Akira, like, what are you talking about? And Akira elaborates like, okay, so... What happened was uh, Suzuka and Miyako, they, they, you know, they, they're friends with Marin, and uh, you know, Suzuka was the one that took the picture of Marin back with the Shizuku Tan, and you know, that's how they met and why not. Now, she followed Marin, you know, in her social media, and she saw that Marin posted the Black Lobelia picture, and back when she was doing the cosplaying with uh, Juju and Shinju, and she pretty much shows uh, Akira like a picture of uh, Marin cosplaying Black Lobelia. And that's when she falls in love at first sight. Like she starts simping, and you just see a picture of uh, you see a panel of her pretty much just with a heart and a heart and an arrow in her chest, and you know like her like you know fangirly. And that's where we get the the big plot twist that you know she is Marin's number one fan. Like she she's a hundred percent looks up to Marin and she admires Marin. She you know she's just obsessed with all her cosplays, and you know she. And it, she doesn't hate her whatsoever. If anything, she is, she loves her. Like, you know, and understandably so, because Marin is best girl after all. You know, we all love Marin. How can we not love Marin? She's so energetic, full of fun, full of life. And, you know, she's just best girl as a whole. So seeing Akira, you know, react this way towards Marin, it, it really clicked with me. And I'm sure for a lot of people, because, you know, Marin is, you know, a lot of people's favorite, uh, obviously, because she's awesome. And, you know, she, I, I, I'm, I personally would say that uh, I relate to Akira because, you know, we all can assume that we all fell in love with Marin at first sight. You know, she's so awesome. But continuing on, we actually see that Gojo and Akame, they keep talking to Akira. 
and then eventually like they're shocked they're like oh wow you're such a big fan it's like how come you don't want to talk to her it's like no i, I don't want to show i can't i can't even be around her because i'm too shy and I, i don't know what to do like i'm you know i'm frying i'm awkward i don't know she's a goddess to me like i can't be to to her i'm i'm a peasant like i i don't I, she's my queen like she's my princess like I, you know and she eventually says like i, I gotta keep her at a distance because if like if i see her you know she might not like me and you know might be all awkward and she might you know think i'm weird so gojo and kami they're like okay well how about this we'll, we'll keep it a secret and we'll make sure that you guys don't interact during the coffin party to not make it awkward and akira's like oh thank god and then gojo's like yeah by the way did you know she was a model and it's like oh she's a model and then she sh he shows uh, uh, uh akira a picture of uh Marin in her catalog pictures were for you know modeling and automatically Akira's like, oh nice uh yeah i just bought all the the issues of the entire year with her and they're like oh wow really and then she's they're like she's like oh actually i also bought this issue 10 times and i come is like uh 10 times what are we talking about and she, she's like yeah of course i gotta get 10 times from my i gotta you know show some love you know i gotta write the the letters note saying that hey i want to see this model more in this magazine So yeah, she's super simping for Marin, which understandably so, you know, Marin, best girl, why not? But we see that Akame's just shocked. He's like, oh, that's all right, whatever. Do you, bro? <laughs> she's like, oh, whatever, man. And he's like, well, why did you buy so many? He's like, you know, I got to support my girl, but I can't buy all of them because obviously I want people to buy those issues as well and support my girl too. So so yeah, she ain't scalping, but you know, she she's just showing love, man. And it's, it's great. It, I loved it. But continuing on, we go to the present time and we see that Marin she's like yeah talking about like yeah you don't like me and she's like what no you, if anything and yeah that's when you see akira just freaking snap and she's like no you're my princess i i love you so much you're so cute i can't stand it anymore i, I tell you you're so pretty and i'm in love with you and you're my you're my number one you know i'm your number one fan and why not and she just lets it all out and it, it was very cute you know uh akira she's just you know spilling her heart to mary and saying like yeah you're 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 my idol i love you you know you're great and, and you know she's just pretty much telling marion like yeah you, you, you're awesome and i love your cosplays and i'm a big fan of your work and you know she's all shy and very awkward and you know she just starts screaming she doesn't know how to you know really express herself without being like very extra and like you know kind of freaking out now marion on the other side she starts blushing a lot and she starts freaking out she's like oh my god i got a fan oh my god this is awesome so awesome no freaking way i got a fan and she's you know she's very humble she's very happy And she starts talking to Akira, and she, Akira is like, she starts freaking out of that because she's like, whoa, like my princess is talking like to, like talking to me like this. Oh my goodness! And you know, Marin's just very excited. She's like, wow, you're so awesome. You know, you're really cool. Like, let's let's be friends. Why not? And you know, Marin's chit chatting with her, and Akira's like, I can't take this. This is way too much. And she's getting overwhelmed. And what eventually happens is Marin she tells uh, Akira like, hey, how about if we take a picture? And what you see is very cute it's a very cute scene between Marin and Akira and you know Marin tells Shinju like hey get the get the camera ready and they both come together and Marin and Akira take a picture and it's awesome and it's very lovely panel it was very cute and yeah the chapter ends pretty much with Marin and Akira just you know like pretty much being homies like <laughs> like it's all this time we as the audience have been thinking like oh does Akira have bad blood with Marin can she not stand her There was a lot of uh, you know discussion around the the online discords about what might be the reason that Akira doesn't like Marin, and you know come to find out she never didn't like Marin. If anything, she was always a number one fan of Marin's, but she was just way too awkward and shy to tell her that. And it's understandably, you know, understandably so, because not a lot of people can just express their love for another person's uh, art. So you know, it's it's very cool. It, I like this chapter. I like it. It really subverted our expectations about the whole akira and marion situation and i'm very excited what to you know what's to come because now that the akira subplot is out of the way we can go to the main event which is the confession between marion and gojo now i'm wondering if it's going to happen in the next chapter and or, or in two chapters from now because you know there's a lot of setup right now like we don't know if it's going to happen like anytime soon or for all i know it might happen next chapter or it might happen in 10 chapters from now we can't really know but i do appreciate it and love the quality of writing that Fukuda has been writing in this entire manga because she keeps consistently subverting our expectations with the gender roles as well as you know like just her writing style about the rom-coms because you know we would have thought like oh my god there's gonna be a love triangle and drama and whatnot but no if anything 
he got settled in his chapter and it was awesome because now to me akira is the second best girl of, of the whole franchise she's awesome i love akira she's she's a very well written character and, and knowing that she you know sims for marin it makes me even like her more because anybody that sims with Mar about marin she's she's one of my homies man because <laughs> marin is awesome best girl but with that being said, what did you guys think about this chapter? Did you guys like it? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Whatever you guys thought, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more anime and manga content in the near future. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.